It's like a boss. And I swear to God, I hope they post it. I'm blessed. Even though I get slammed with lawsuits like car doors, C3PO's like Star Wars. They want me by the road holding up cardboard. So I go ace the hard on the hard floor. I went to that TED.com. Just look up robots and try to find the one where, the, where this, is, this lady is sitting there. She's fucking talking about, you know, having robots around the house. I've been fascinated by this idea of personal robots. Something that would delight us, enrich our lives, and help us save a galaxy or two. You know what I mean? And it's the stupidest thing. Okay, she, first of all, she's whoring it up for no particular reason in the beginning. I don't know why. She's wearing, like, these hooker boots. She's sitting there talking about robots to a bunch of egghead nerds, and she's still got to whore it up. It's like, can't you just stand on the merit of the fucking speech that you wrote? Do you really got to get people's dicks half full just so they'll keep listening to you? How fucking insecure are you? You're talking about robots in the house walking down the hallway. Hey, what's up? Fucking high five and a goddamn robot. That right. And you, it's not like it's a movie. It's fucking real. That's not compelling enough of a subject. You can't hold the audience's interest. You still have to put on your streetwalker boots. It's weird. She has on streetwalker boots, but she has on a modest skirt. It comes down a little. Or maybe because the boots go up so fucking high. You know what I mean? I mean, th th isn't that basically the rule? If you're going to wear the fucking thigh-high boots, you basically have to have on a mini skirt. All right? So she starts her speech, right? Not a whore. Just dressed like a whore. Like she put on half of her Halloween costume and then, oh, wait a minute. I have to give a speech. So she goes down there and she's just like, she actually sounds, what she's talking about is smart, but she doesn't sound that smart. Modeled after trainers and, and uh, patients and so forth. And it would build a working, working alliance with you through that dialogue. So I don't know if some nerd wrote the fucking speech for her and, and got like, I don't know, fucking broke out in like hives right before the speech. So they sent her out instead. But she's just up there being like, you know, when I was a little girl... I remember just seeing Star Wars and seeing C-3PO going, wouldn't that just be awesome to have, like, a robot? And not to, like, do Jaws, but just to, like, kind of talk to and, like, joke around with. I was a little girl seeing Star Wars for the first time. I've been fascinated by this idea of personal robots. So I knew robots like that didn't really exist, but I knew I wanted to build them. And she starts talking about how she feels that robots should be in the fucking house because she wants her own C-3PO. Am I saying that right? Am I pausing at the wrong time? How come C-3PO? C-3PO. C-3PO. I am C-3PO. I don't know, whatever. That's such a stupid fucking movie. It was one of the most overrated fucking goddamn motherfucking movies of all time. I would rather watch Muppets Take Manhattan. Let's go to Broadway! I think that that holds up better because at least there's adult humor in there. You know who totally ripped off Use the Force? Joel Olstein. That fucking squinty-eyed guy. Oh, you want a t-shirt? Jesus wants you to have a t-shirt. Just think about it. It's going to happen. He totally stole that whole vibe. I don't even know if that makes sense. You know what? Furthermore, I don't care. Plowing ahead to this lady sitting there, lady sitting there talking about these fucking robots. you got to watch the video. And about, I don't know, 10, 11 minutes in, I can't remember where the fuck it is. They cut to somebody shooting the shit with a robot. And it looks like it's basically a head coming out of a giant VCR. And he's like sitting there like... And it, it'd be like if you had a VCR with a head coming out of it, but like a robot head, like bolts for eyes and shit. But it has like eyelashes for some stupid reason, like blinking. Like it needs to blink, right? Right? And he's sitting at it like he's at his desk, like almost face to face with the thing. He's just like, hey, fucking R2-D2, look what my girlfriend bought me. And he, he showed some sort of fucking, I don't know what the hell, it's some macho chain or a watch. I can't remember what the fuck it was. And then the robot's just like, oh, my God, that's really interesting. Did she? And it's moving its fucking head. This is a watch that my, this is a watch that my girlfriend gave me. Oh, hell. Yeah, look, it's got a little blue light in it, too. You're like, I almost lost it this week. Can I ask, 
either this might be the dumbest question ever or just painfully obvious. Why the fuck would I need that? Why why would I need that? Like why why wouldn't I just talk to my friend? You know what I'm saying? It was it's like the baseball kid from way back in the day. Remember that shit? I talked about it here in the podcast. One of these Mondays. They used to have the baseball kid. It's called baseball kid. Baseball kid. The baseball's what you wanna do. The baseball kid pitched you. And it was a cardboard cutout of a friend, basically, that you don't have throwing a fucking baseball to you. You know, it was basically for the kid with no friends. So now they've upgraded it to the person who has no fucking friends. You know what's great? Is that I bet that guy didn't even have a girlfriend. I bet he bought the watch for himself. And now he now part of the sickness is he just fucking lies to this robot about this life that he doesn't have. Serious, you're coming with us. No one can replace you. We need you. 